What's happening guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be building a machine learning model that allows you to predict used car prices using IBM Watson Machine Learning Studio. Now if you haven't dealt with Watson Machine Learning Studio, basically what it is is a done for you data science platform that allows you to do things like load up your data, build a model, train test and deploy via REST API. It's a done for you data science environment. It's got everything that you could possibly need and more. Now in this first video, we're gonna go through how to get set up with Watson Machine Learning Studio. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is head over to the cloud platform at IBM and that's just cloud.ibm.com and hit enter. Now, if you're not logged in already, you'll be prompted to log in. So just enter your password and you'll come to here. If you don't have an IBM ID yet, again, you can go to IBM site and sign up for one of those. It's all free, you just need to register. Once you get to this dashboard, what you're going to do is hit catalog, then head over to AI and go to Watson Studio. So these are the first steps that you need to go through when you're setting up your environment. Once you've done this once, you don't need to do it again. So let's rename our service to Watson Studio, let's call it Machine Learning. And the region, you can change that if you want, same as the resource group, so mine just goes to default. Now, if you scroll down a little bit further, if you've got a bunch of different plans, as in some of our other videos, the light plan's more than enough if you're just getting set up. If you want some more grunt behind each of your machine learning models or behind your, your environment in total, you can take a look at the standard and enterprise instances. For now, light's more than enough, so hit light and hit create. Now, this will take a little bit of time, but once it's set up, you should be taken to this sort of dashboard page. So from here, you can sort of manage your plan and whatnot. Uh, what's really important right now is just hit get started and this will take us to the machine learning platform. Alrighty, and we're here. So this is really the main page for Watson Studio. From here you can create projects, you can mess around with um, different things, open up existing projects. I think you can collaborate with other community projects as well from here. What's most important here is the project that you're going to be creating. So in this case, we're going to be creating a new project. So hit create project. And from here, you've got a bunch of different types of projects that you can spin up. Now, basically the difference between each one of these are the services that get spun up in the background to support your project. Now, we don't really need one of these pre-built pipelines because we're gonna be setting it up from scratch and spinning up the services that we need only rather than having stuff spun up by default. So you can see here though that you've got some almost cookbook type environments if you wanna get up and running. So you've already got a data science style cookbook or project. So you've got data, notebooks, visual recognition. You've got a visual recognition model built in deep learning, so you've got data, you've got a modeler flow, model and as well as an experiment. So a lot of these come with some pre-built or some pre-set up services. So because we're not really going to do it with a pre-built environment, we're gonna set up a new standard project. Let's hit standard or hover over standard and hit create project. Now here we're going, because we're gonna, the model that we're gonna be building is basically one where it's able to predict the price of used cars. So we're gonna call it uh, used car pricing model. And we'll change the name and update the description. And for now, we'll leave everything the same. We'll leave storage and we'll hit create. And this should set up our new project. Now from here, you'll be taken to your, basically your project dashboard. From there, you can do a bunch of stuff. So we can start uploading data, we can start building our model, uh, testing and training, spinning up notebooks, all that good data science stuff. So give that a moment and it will spin up your project. Alrighty, so now we're at the sort of dashboardy page. From here is where you can manage your entire model. A few of the key buttons really quickly, 
uh, add to project. So if you click this, there's a bunch of stuff that you can add. So you can add data, you can add data connections, notebooks, you can set up dashboards, use modeler flow, I believe that's SPSS. Uh, you can create experiments, you can use what's a machine learning models, which we'll be using later. You can use natural language classifiers. There's a heap of stuff you can do just by hitting add to project. Now you can also hit the menu and there's a bunch of other stuff. So you can see your other projects as well as the services you've got spun up. If you hit assets, this is where your data and different services will be available as well as your environments. So the different Python environments and R environments that sit behind this instance. Now that's really a bit of a crash course in terms of the Watson Machine Learning Studio environment. In the next video, we're gonna go through how to load up our data as well as how to start visualizing that data. So stay tuned. We're going to jump over to that in a minute. Now, if you found this video useful, be sure to share, like, and subscribe it. Peace.